I got your wig, I got your wig, ho. Ha ha. You're mad, Miss Wigiana. It's true or not. It really isn't for anybody else to decide to tell except for her and her husband. Well, then she should watch her big fat mouth. I like her. Poof is cute. It's a little fat shoe. It's cute. Yeah. There you go again. A little fat shoe. Whatever. So you I, you've just defended hat. her again. Oh. Why is it cute little right. shoe? I know that I can't touch her. I realize it's not okay. Okay. But I wanted a ring your neck. You did? Cheryl. Ooh. I did, because I think you're an asshole when you do sh like that. Shaking. You kiss her ass. You're so okay. insecure and All such right. a follower. Okay. I don't care. I think you're boring as sh Who, me? Who, me? What do I stutter? Yes, you. Yeah, I took full responsibility on well, it. If you but took full responsibility for it, then why do you act like, oh my Nene gosh, it was, was flirting so with fit. Peter. Nene, she was flirting, never with, a flirting, with, a flirting with Peter. Now don't People go there. People accuse you of flirting well, with Peter. Well, I don't give a damn what they accuse me with. of. I have never Girl, flirted with Peter. Everybody said you flirted with I Peter. I don't give a damn what everybody said. If you don't want to own it, that's fine. I never flirted with Peter. Let's be very about showing yeah. your character Me, is the Peter, same point Cynthia, I'm and Greg to you. were friends. Oh, now you want to talk? No, oh, yeah, the I talk when I get to talk. ready. Oh, when I the get ready. The wants to talk I now? I talk when I get ready. Yes, you do. No, we not going to yes, cross all no day. lines because my husband's here and I'm married, okay? Yes, now, you I are for the second time. I have never flirted with Peter. That's Don't fine. go there. Don't go there. Yeah, people Ex said Peter. it. Ex-Peter. Ex-Peter. Okay? He's sitting right Don't there. Do that. You want Don't to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that in front of my husband. We're diverting. I can't project that loud. Hold on. Did I say you wanted to tell you something? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I said you're not going to disrespect me and my husband. I just did. I have never, I never ever Peter. flirted. Okay. Ever. Peter. Peter. It was innocent, but it definitely It happened. ain't f***ing innocent, bitch. This ain't Phaedra. Don't call me out my This name. ain't Phaedra. Don't call me out You ain't going to disrespect me and my husband. I know that. This ain't Phaedra. This ain't Phaedra. You ain't going to disrespect our marriage now. You can disrespect her and Apollo. If I flirted with him, I would own it, bitch. Believe Yes, bitch, that. I know you would. Okay. Believe Well, even if she did, I won. Yeah, back, exactly. Babe. Thank I you. Won. I'm glad you think you have I a prize. Won. I wanted you on the show. Stop. So why you would I no, all the time and I'm you fed up the buzzword of the moment, Camille, okay? Oh, no. Oh, it's bully. You Who advised you to use that word? And you started the whole it. delusional thing, so everybody in America thinks I'm delusional. No, because you say things that are true, Camille. Well, I don't really think it was private because you told all of us, and you don't go on a reality show if that's happening in your private life. So I, I would think about that a bit, Taylor. And I don't appreciate you saying that because everybody knew. Allison from San Francisco says, do you realize how clear it is that you initiate the conversations with Apollo? You were the only woman to show up for cigars and manage to get him alone. She needs a storyline, so she keeps re-bringing it up. This happened in 2012. It's 2014 now, and she's still trying to use it because she has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around running around talking about my husband and my, the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try yeah. to find the donor, honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an ax murderer or a child molester, because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now check that. I don't know. I usually find myself to have a lot of patience. I'm telling you, I think you're a f***ing asshole. I think and you're do a not asshole. throw another object. Don't do anything to make me throw an object. May 19th, I woke up to this looking like this. Oh okay? God. This was screenshotted. This is the second day after my nose job where I was waking up to their responses. You tell them, baby. Haters gonna hate. Love yeah, you, Jennifer, OMG. Honey, that's and it. I was attacked, Andy. Okay. Do we want a close-up? We had a lot of time off camera, and she said, um, Brooks has been diagnosed with cancer. And I said, what? And she said, well, he's going to City of Hope right now. He's getting testing done. We don't know what it is. And I said, okay. And then on the way home, she called Brooks to say, well, are you okay? What did the doctor say? And he would not return her call. And she was crying the entire flight. And then we landed. And immediately, Vicky was on the phone. Do you have cancer? He said, call me when you get in the car. I'll let you know. And so I'm like, ah, like, right. does he have cancer? Whatever. And then Vicky gets in the car. She calls me finally. And she goes, he's fine. 
Nothing. And I feel like he throws that cancer yeah. card out to get sympathy. Yeah. Do you think he had cancer this time? I do. I don't have any proof that he doesn't have cancer, and he won't give me enough proof that he does have oh, cancer. Oh, me. So really? that's where I'm at. I've been busy with my business. I've been busy with stop. the show. But we I've been busy. Stop. Like, and stop. all we these different things are coming stop. together as a sense. big house. I'm like, stop. there's got to be truth in this stuff. There what? has to be truth in Vicky. this stuff. My very first year on the show, Vicki and I, we clicked immediately. Mm -hmm. And she called me and said, somebody I was very close to has cancer. Mm -hmm. It was somebody that I have a connection with. Mm -hmm. And now I regret never carrying on this connection. Mm -hmm. Pancreatic cancer. Can right? Pancreatic right. cancer. And he's dying. And I feel like I need to go be with him and leave Dawn and be with this guy. And I said, wow, OK. She was crying, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember that It was too. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And he lied that. And it was pancreatitis. Yeah. Yet now I know that he used cancer when he initially called you, and you thought he was dying of cancer well, in 2008. Well, yeah, I did. I thought he had pancreatic right, cancer. Right, but Vicki, you're a very smart girl. Absolutely I mean, I guess my I question is, did you ever see a real doctor? All you show are these non-oncologists. Like, well, where's the real doctor? Well, the real, his when real doctor, was a brand Dr. Dr. Vandermillen, did not want to film. He never saw Dr. Vandermillen. You want to know why I know? Because he lives down the street from me. He never saw him. That's oh interesting. Oh, my God. He didn't go to an oncologist What about the City of Hope? They filmed. They filmed, because I filmed at City uh, of Hope. I, I was only up at City of Hope once when I was there. Vicky, Vicky, when, no, we, were at, when we were at Heather's better. luncheon, you screamed at me. You, with tears in your eyes, how your boyfriend, so Brooks, is fighting for his life. Because that's and what I believe. how dare I do, you know, talk about cancer and, and how my, you know, the, my relationship with cancer is my husband's ex-wife. And you had the audacity did you scream at me like that? I do okay. feel like you always try to like slut shame her and make her I feel ashamed slut shame shame for her. anything slut. she's she lit. She called me a f***ing concubine, you, okay? A concubine? I'm not a mistress, honey. That's you. If no, you a concubine already, by definition No, by definition, Miriam Webster, where are you at? By definition, a it's a mistress. Of lesser value than lesser their Lesser value that is not married to the man she sleeps with. That's not me, honey. That's it was you. A, if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, implied that. I said what I said. Thank Aviva, you. during your fight with Carol, you got in a jab saying, at least I'm not 50 years old, but you stopped there. What was the rest of your insult before you cut yourself off? You know, uh, first of all, I really, I, I really meant that as a compliment. I thought you were older. I'm so sorry. And I think afterwards I said, Oh my I, God, I really even didn't, your I really compliments didn't, sound like insults. You know, I really thought it was a compliment. And I think I said something like, and not so Wait, at judgmental. at least I'm not 50 is a compliment? I thought she was older. I didn't know she was 50. I thought she was so much was 50. Huh? I didn't know that. So I thought it was a compliment. To say at least I'm not 50? No, and that's then I went an on, I think I went on to say, because it cut off, I think I went on to say, and not so judgmental. I think that's what I said. I um, think you said and alone. No, 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 I would never say that. I would never, I oh, think well. I think being alone is fabulous. I would never say that. But I didn't know that you were 50. I didn't, I thought you were older. So I, I, I mentioned she the compliment. You never say someone you thought was older. And That's plus, like, it's do like, I, I, you know what? It's okay. just like I did the most insulting, insulting thing a woman could tell <laughs> another woman. I don't I care. Know. My lord, even I know that's not a good thing. Even I, I, I know, really, Aviva. My lord, oh lord, oh lord. I didn't oh, mean to insult her. I really didn't. Of course. So Please wait, are you, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So Carol, are you complimented that no, Aviva thought thing. that you were older than 50? No. And at least you're not. No. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be either. I go, you bitch. I don't mind because I'm very secure and very confident and I feel uh, hot. I mean, oh, I, I, you are hot. I, I would you just prefer for you to I shut reached up. out. Well, honey, you can't we, tell me we've to shut up because said, you're not my you mama. You are not being talked to right now, okay? Oh, so just okay. shut the hell up. So are you, you my mama? Are you my mama? Me, okay? I don't think so. Dust. You're no one's mama, so you just keep your little toy to yourself Dust. before you find it wrapped around your neck. No mom wants to be attacked on their, their child. I wasn't attacking you when well, you Well, at the time, that's how I took it. That's I would never leave my, my daughter unattended. We were at a christening. We were at my brother's christening. Nobody's going to. Nobody, I didn't say no, that you no, left no, your children no, unattended. No, no, if she was a good cousin, she wouldn't have said that to me. My I don't like that she said that. It's all about me being a bad cousin. She's a bad wife. I'm a bad cousin. She's a bad person. She took your child out of danger. Yes. She's a good cousin because she did what I would want somebody to do. Catherine, when the tough got going, you ran away. 
Can I just back up? I'm just trying to understand. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Insane. My daughter was out of danger. She was on the side. No, she wasn't. Yes, she, she was, was alone. Insane. It's okay. Room, she was all of our children were in danger that day. I wheeled her off and gave her to Maria, if I remember okay. correctly. So and if you, you did, your... I didn't I didn't see that. I'm telling you. She if, was if my, my children mate, I were even in danger. Her. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Teresa, you shouldn't be so defensive because you know what? Defensive. You should be a little bit more secure. I You're am a great secure. mother. I know I'm a great then mother. Then why did you flip but out like that? Because you were trying to you no, were trying to not. stick a dick to me. You are taking the words that are I'm coming out of my mouth and you're hearing one thing and you're playing it over and over in your head. Don't be so defensive. Not I'm, everything is uh, meant Hello, I'm being to, attacked by three You're not being because attacked. Because you're not owning up to it when you say that. Really no, being I am, you're not I being am attacked. owning up to it, but if I took it offensively, I'm not going to... I'm owning it. I took it offensively. Does hearing her explain all that make you yes, understand where she was it. coming from? Now you're I'm fine, fine with it. it. But you still wrote a blog last week attacking my character after we made up and said that you wanted to be sisters again. You said she's sneaky and you manipulative. Are. I said, I'm now, sneaky now and that, manipulative. Now, I, no. If you really wanted to be back to the way we used to be, you didn't need to attack my character. Teresa, in your blog you wrote, I was devastated that Melissa and my brother Joey left our house in the middle of Christmas Eve and went to Kathy's. Kathy, do you feel like you did something wrong by inviting no. them to your house? You know they spend Christmas Eve with me all the time. But this year was different. You were having problems. This was the first year I did not spend Christmas can with I, my can brother. Can I just say something? The first that year. particular blog made me so sick to my stomach. You called me evil? Year. I mean, if I heard Come you on. say how brokenhearted Antonia was and how she was, she you was. and your... She started crying. We came to your house and spent three hours. Three hours? One hour? No, we were there for yeah, three hours. Okay, three At hours. Why no. couldn't you appreciate the hour and say baby steps were building on we something? We did. So and can I say that? Like, I, I don't know around. how you are with your brothers and sisters. This was the first year I wasn't with my brother. But there was a reason. And I'm always with my brother. But there was a reason you weren't with him. I was mad at her. Okay, another thing. You did... Because I okay. felt like if we're you were a good on. cousin, we are, I know, I'm a bad said, cousin because yes. I invited your brother yes. to Christmas Eve. Your parents, I did. Even your mom okay. should have said. So, I did. We what, did. Why are you, you shouldn't be why here. You should here? be with your mother. Right. I did. God forbid something happens next year. God I forbid. Did. Please, right. God. Right. And this, and he didn't spend Christmas Eve with my parents. He did. We always spent it together. We had we sit down. You were. You took that hour and ruined it. No. Yes, you did. You had an hour with your family. Instead of being if grateful, that's how you, you ruin your it. family, you tie it into a problem. I love to spend the whole night it's together. It's not about you. It's, it's about, about the family. You it's parents. about the it children. Was together. It's my be parents. grateful for that hour. Yeah. Don't turn maybe, it into a problem. Maybe that's what you want. An hour is good enough for you it and your is. family. I'll take a no. second with my I, family. I want it the whole night. Well, you're no. selfish. No. I'm not selfish. Yes, you it, are. My it's I'm not about your family. It's about you and only you. This is ridiculous. That was very devastating. Everybody, Teresa's devastated. She's hurt. We're attacking her. Let's go home. It was a, it was a big deal for me. I know. No, I understand. Apparently. Very big um, deal. Devastated. I was. And if you were, maybe that's why you don't give a shit. You know what you said, too, when you got to her house? Now I feel like Yeah, because it's the somebody way was calling me be. a raccoon face behind my back. You know, I, well, there must have been a reason I felt that way. He wasn't calling you a raccoon face. He was talking, he was talking about Kathy. Teresa, stop it. I he swear on my wasn't kid. even in the house. Oh my God. Okay, not. wait a minute. So okay. it makes it better that he was right. talking about me. Take it, raccoon. He's I'll take it, raccoon not. face. Either you, Teresa. Yes. What else is he going to call me? Teresa. What else is Joe Teresa. Teresa. Yes, baby. Okay. Seems like just from watching the season and from watching everything that we've been through tonight, that you have such a firm stance in your point of view that it's hard for you to hear people sometimes. Things have been explained to you over and over, and I feel like you are dug into your point of view. It's like well, a, it's about like Adriana, a, I was. Okay, now that we have discussed the Adriana situation, you said thank you. I appreciate that, you know, but the embarrassment and the humiliation that you caused me that night at the Brownstone and all the bloggers and all the crap that's been sure? set up, that, that wasn't the time to talk Why? about it. I have Please compassion for me. the situation you, that you're yeah, in. Yeah, well, I you know could that if you would try to attack it's someone it is. Again, within I mean, 24 hours. I any judgment or malice. All you had to do was shut it down and keep it moving. You well, I did shut it down, but you had already like you ran with moved it. On she called you the head doctor mm -hmm. y'all got y'all moved right past yeah because she apologized she came yeah, to you me and apologized and said i never heard that and i never on. knew that to so be true. Where I I just it was funny. and you could have did now, it see so, I, get I did because you never I apologized well you weren't in high school with me uh you no. were older than my oldest brother so we weren't I'm in 43 high school. to be exact mm. 
Well, Chateau Chere is still unfinished, right? It's still unfinished. It takes a long time. It's a huge house. I had a problem with one of the, con uh, not the contractor, but the guy that I, uh, who... I apologize okay. in the Philippines, and you did not accept it, and that is your choice. Why did you not accept her apology? Because I don't think it was genuine, but I just was... Well, don't was say I didn't apologize. Just say you didn't accept it. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't necessarily think that what I said about how many drinks Monique had was the only thing that affected her reputation. She did other things that lent themselves to saying maybe Monique does drink a little too much. That's a bunch of bull. Uh, <laughs> no, children divide teams. She already apologized. I already so apologized. Bad. Well, I, I had to you, write it I in my blog, you just like heart. everybody did... stated that we have to Do write it. Do you ever let anybody... Just like you said, I, I would hate to be married piles. to you. Michael doesn't miss a camera. Why would, it's not about Michael missing a camera. It's about the fact that he was a major topic of discussion. That he is was. very he true, too, yes, but he does love a camera. camera. Absolutely. The man loves a camera. Fox 5 is indication of that. We're good. Next. You said that black people can't swim. I know. What is that? Yes. You were called a racist, and people were extremely got egged, pissed off um, at you. Your I house know. got eggs. Mm -hmm. You're 50, whatever, like two. Well, yeah, 52 years old. I mean, don't you speak your mind? Are huh? you easily manipulated? Are you serious? I don't know. I mean, maybe um, I was a little bit. I think I tweeted Neverland, didn't I? Neverland? Is that what you tweeted? Yeah. Why do you say Neverland? Because that's what it appeared to be, Neverland. It appeared to be Neverland? It appeared to be Neverland. Neverland. Nothing was there. You came with no makeup. You left. Um, Ken had said you look terrible. And Harry said, you know what? That's not okay. This woman is sick, and we need to stand by her. I already planned the surprise. Well, I had my ticket. Tell me then? I told you. If you're such a good friend to Kelly, because I, you know what? I thought me. she was going to be finish? there, and I would show up. No, and she would, I told you she's leaving. You, and I told you, meet her at the airport. She called me and said she may not be leaving. Me. She I called me and told you, me the opposite. Meet her at the airport. I am so concerned for her. I am so concerned. She but I knew friend. I was meet coming. Her. So when I spoke to her, she knew I was coming down. Are you her friend? I thought I was coming to the island to see her. I'm telling you, I'm scared. I'm saying you even said to me. And you saw Kelly at the airport? Well, actually, I literally did see her. But no, no when I spoke, after Correct. I spoke to Ramona Hi. and Bethany, who called me to say they were so concerned. And by the way, when you yeah, called so me, you like, weren't yeah. angry at me. You weren't, like, hostile to me. You were actually very lovely. Uh, the oh two of God. you yes. called Jill. Yeah, yes. I called first. And I had not spoken to her, and, and we I, called her. And then right. like, nothing was wrong. I said, Jill, you like, know nothing I'm was putting wrong. this aside. And if I'm talking to you right now, you know I'm serious. And there's something very wrong here with Kelly. And I'm not thinking, I don't think it's funny. You need to deal with your friend. There's a problem here. She's kind of I speak to, and they did. And I would. I speak to Kelly, and Kelly told me she might leave, and I said, don't leave, because I happen to be coming in the morning. Yes, I was and I planning said, no, to surprise you. Why did you, you. tell me? She and said, she said no, sure. I'm going to leave. And by the way, Ramona, thanks a lot for even asking me or Bobby if we wanted to drink a water or a bathroom, because after nine oh, hours that's of not travel, she got up from her pedicure. I mean, what is she the matter got with you? Have that walk in the room and say, Ramona, I'm sorry I made you feel like a piece of last week at I can't, that, If you had let me stay more than five minutes, I would have. You said you walked in like nothing happened. You're like, what did you want me to say? Hey, should I walk in? Yeah. Should I have walked yes. in and said, I'm sorry, yes. Bethany, and I'm Absolutely. sorry, Ramona. You should have walked in and said, you know what? I am sorry. You didn't give me a chance. You didn't, you didn't, didn't give me a chance. No, you didn't look then for why a chance. Why do you think I came? You didn't look for a chance, God damn it! You didn't look for a chance. You came in there holier than thou. I am Jill. Come worship me. Instead of saying, Alex, I was a head to you. Bethany, yes. I was a head to you. Ramona, I'm a head to you, too, and please forgive me. No, really you show me the video where I walked in holier than thou. Oh, I walked in saying I came to right, talk to Bethany. I have nothing no, more to say. I said no, I came no, to no, talk no. to you. I'm it up. She's I'm hurt. Me. She's hurt. She did get up from her pedicure to go talk to you oh, and Bobby. She, she got, got up from, from her pedicure. Well, now, excuse Hello, me. Hello, why are you all laughing now? Why are you to go see you? With my husband, who was dropping me off. That's my, and by the way, friend, you know. I did not throw you out. Why are you so... Yeah, her intense. Because right you know now. why? Because I've been watching the filming, and I know it's filming. And you know what? She'll act certain ways to me on film, person to person. And then behind my back, when she's interviewed, she is like really hurtful toward me, spiteful. And you're not. And then you're not. I don't think. Should we play back all the nasty things you've exactly. said to me? Yeah, Everyone to your face. Said. To your face. And behind my back. No. That's I'm the show. Camera. Let's the, not so call it what it is. Give me a break. She's saying she says it to your face. and she, is You she say, say it to my it face. To I say it to your face. I say it behind your back. You, you say it behind my back. She believed you wanted to sabotage her trip. I then wasn't. you decided to show up and make it like you were coming to see me when you have to take a plane and a car and that a camel. That was the point. And I live I a block to show away. It. You're I don't, right. And I don't hindsight, if I could do it over, I would have. I think Jill's heart was in the right place. Yes. I don't think she understood what she was walking into. 
with what happened with girls? Kelly. I know why she left. Uh, <laughs> there's a spectrum. spectrum. I want a happy <laughs> medium. She's right too right much, right and my husband's too little. Let me yeah. tell you what makes a man, honey. You don't call me honey. Gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning and works construction and makes <laughs> money, okay. right? But loves their you. woman and puts them on a pedestal. That makes good, a man. Good for That's you. That's how okay. I was raised. All right, well, you, your behavior that night was a little bitch girl. I'll be a you were bitch too much involved. You want, honey. There's a lot of You're bitch boys out there involved. that don't know so how to be gonna men. If you get involved, then it's justified for free reign. Get the f out of here. And bitch boy, I'm sorry, Joe. You're kind of like a housewife. Sorry, you are. Phaedra, you should be ashamed of yourself for making fun of Cynthia's fibroids. That was low down, even for you. I don't say anything about anybody until they come for me. And that's what she did. And I just said, basically, you trying to talk about my Aquafina because you sitting on Captain Crunch. Oh, no, Lisa, I didn't have sex with her because she was too drunk. That's what he said to me outside. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He spent two nights with me. We had sex both nights. And that is true. what he said it's to me. mean to say that. We're no, make not. It up. Every episode, you have a corona in your hand. Sure. Don't you think it's a little bit hypocritical for you to call out Monique? No, I like to have Corona lights. If I were to get into a car accident after consuming too many Corona lights, I would expect the that same dialogue to be taken. My name's Karen, and that's 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 enough to chew on. Were you like this as a kid? What is like this, Andy? She had a vivid imaginary world as a child, and it oh, continues. Right. And as Katie adult. cannot speak for that because she didn't know me then. <laughs> you know nothing about my childhood. Stay in your lane. Yeah, I mean, you talk lane. around and around, and it just makes me so f***ing crazy. i got to walk away for a second. Just for a second. It's like you just talk around and around until everybody just goes f***ing crazy. Just own it, Lisa. F***ing own it. You really didn't think that you were a mean old mean lady? No. No, I just felt like <laughs> everybody was missing a sensitivity chip. How many of you think the therapy has changed Giselle? For like five minutes? Who? Her. When did I call Vanderpump? On the phone. To who? To me. Never a harmless oh, old Catherine. lady. Why are you Season crying about a rumor if it's you not true? Hey. I'm telling you, I'm you're, annoyed. you're annoyed. You're oh, annoyed that I'll he... Oh, I'll do it right back at you, I bitch girl. Right. Oh, my okay. God. Yeah, why do you have to go there? Everything that we're on this couch for Well, she sure has us. a lot to say about my kids on Twitter. And that they have, that I have three different... I never tweeted about your kids. That I have three different... I have um, never tweeted about your absolutely kids. Absolutely have. I said you had three different baby daddies. And Was that talking about your children? Is that talking about your children? You don't you know were. what... You Kim, were. back oh. up. So... Are you the parking meter, motherfucker? I can park wherever I want to. You are not the parking meter lady. You a handicapped You ain't the parking... Is you handicapped by all these diseases you don't have? I have handicapped. Where is your scooter? Diseases, you should in a handicapped spot. Really? You done had everything to happen. Yeah. Where is your scooter? Where is your scooter? Where is it? It's I tweeted about your kid. I'm saying, your child, same person. your child is this. Your child is that. Your kid, I'm pointing you out that your kid is that. Nobody... If you stay on my timeline, you wouldn't know what was going I don't, on. People online, reach me. Okay? Okay. My daughter <laughs> came to me. Go. My daughter came to me. And it was a cocktail party to launch a very important cause. It was to a To raise party. money for Alzheimer's victims and their caregivers. You owe those people an apology, no, not I, me. I, you don't owe me anything. I, I don't throw wine glasses. I throw you wine. You throw wine? Oh, what's this difference? It's called a salt and battery, bitch. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're going to touch her. Down. It got all well, over me. Didn't you tell me you were not her teeth down my throat? Over. Have I done it yet? Well, you threatened it. It's done my the face. Well, on wait till I do it. I call you all the time. Karen, you call me to say, I don't got time for you bitches when we're not filming. <laughs> I don't got time for you Giselle, bitches. I know. That's what you call she, me. You know say. what? Giselle is embellishing. I'm not embellishing. Yeah. Okay. I was walking out of my hotel in Beverly Hills. You know my hotel I like to yes, stay at. Yes. With my girlfriend. A man approached me. It's very dark. It was probably 10 at night. He approached me and he said, uh, Kimara is across the street. Kimara is across the street. I could not understand what he was saying. Okay. He had a very thick accent. I looked at him. I was like, what the hell is he saying? Kimara is across the street. I just kept walking. And I got in my car with my girlfriend and pulled off. Like two minutes later, Kenya called to my phone and she said, why the hell you walk off from my man, girl? I said, what man? And she said, my boyfriend. I said, the guy, and then I, it dawned on me, the guy with the accent kept saying King Mora. And I guess he was saying Kenya Moore is across the street. I brought the bunny. Because I never gave it to my grandson. Because he didn't feel like it had good energy. Sorry. I actually heard about it from someone in the front pew in his church in Atlanta. No, no, you know, I'm connected, Andy. You know, okay. hello. Hello. Okay. But if anybody stands a chance of making it with you, that's him.
Um, just stay as a team. Thank you. It's really hard to just have it done in the way it was done. I feel like it could have been, like if Gretchen had a problem with me, she could come to me and tell me something in private and in confidence and I would hear it and I would be like, wow, really? I just felt like it was done and all at once instead of just not ganging up on. I spoke to you in a clear, concise way. I wasn't trying to bully you, gang up you. I had no idea what anyone else was gonna say at the table. It could have ended there. Absolutely it could have, but it didn't. And that's not in my control. Why did your husband, Terry, call her phony? Why, why do you think he called you he, I, He's known me all of 20 seconds at that point, so I don't know. Well, I you could knew say me so all of 20 I, seconds and called me pretentious and maligned my acting I didn't say those career. words, and, and I could, I, people could sit here and say things about you, you, and you, and you all day Take long. I guess. hear rumors what I did you, all day okay. long. What, what, what do you think you put editing, off to no him after 20 seconds that made him think phony? I, I have no clue. You'd have to ask him that. I don't know. We got a lot of comments about the lunch, Tamara, that you had with Alexis. Here's a typical one. Bobby from Gainesville, Florida said, Tamara, I've never been an Alexis fan, but thanks to you, I feel sorry for her. Why did you go out of your way to be so vile and cruel? First of all, she asked to meet with me. I didn't ask to meet with her. And when we got there, she, she we were there like 45 minutes, and it was like, well, why do you think this? And why do you think that? And why do you think that? And she kept just beating it beating it, and I just finally said, you want to know how I feel? I'll be, and I said, I'll be brutally honest with you. And I said how I felt. I didn't sugarcoat it. I didn't try to make it it's something it wasn't. And I, I didn't say I hated you. I just said, you're just hard to be around. I sat down and I never said, I was not grilling you. I want you. examples, I, I want this. That's I, because you were saying, you were throwing nasty comments at me. Of course I'm gonna ask for examples if you don't have anything to say other than throw nasty comments at me. If you can only just hit below the belt every time, I'm gonna ask you, well, give me an example instead of just spouting off. Cause I could sit here and just start saying things about you and not have anything to back it up. Yeah. So well, what exactly did you expect? Well, this, she's <laughs> never been um, yes. coy about her opinions. I just wanted to get it amicable. I don't like being around bitter, old, nasty people. I wanna be around people that are uh, upbeat and happy. I think she called you old. And, and bitter. But <laughs> and she, nasty. It seems like You're she's right bitter. Both older. I mean, I, I mean, just, I don't want to be, I just mean bitter people. I just want to be around happy, upbeat people that encourage each other. Encourage and uplift and. Well, we had a happy, happy moment as soon as you left Costa Rica. Well, I saw that, yeah. Tamara. The, 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 and it was light and, and guess bright what? and fun. And, and guess what? I've had happy good. moments with her and her when you're not around. Hmm. Hmm. Gretchen, Vicky accused you of throwing Alexis under the bus in Costa Rica. Did you? I had spoke with Alexis on the plane right over there, and I had told her that I knew that they really wanted to talk to you, and I actually told you exactly what I was going to say to you, so you were prepared. You said Heather Alexis. had the problem with me. You thought Alexis, that that was Alexis, I gave you the exact you example did not of the Bentley. Tell me that. If I, I ever thought you were going to say that, I didn't tell you. If I that. ever thought you were going to do that and jump in wow. on this intervention, five seconds I before. I can't even believe you're saying that. Gretchen, five seconds before everyone sat down at the dinner, That's I looked at you and I said, "You me. need to have my back. If what you're saying is true, and Heather says something to me tonight at dinner, and Tamara jumps in, you need to have my back." And you go, "Okay." I told you exactly what was going to go down. I even said, "Lexi." Here's some examples, and these are the things that I'm going to point out to you. You never, yes, Gretchen, I did. I brought are you all those crazy? things. Up. Do you really think that, Gretchen? Yeah, Alexis. You're being about as real as you are, you. honest about how the that's fact that you wear extensions. You. Please I let Andy you feel your right hair because that. you've been lying about that for three what? years. What you've been lying about? to Andy about wearing extensions for three years. Please what let him feel your she hair. She showed him her extensions. Another thing, what are you another thing about? that you're so honest about, Gretchen. You lied about your lips. You lied about all the crap you've had done. Not everybody's here is honest. Did you have your lips done? Yeah, I did. I got your wig, I got your wig, ho, ha, ha, you're mad, Miss Wiggy, young.